Thalaspi arvents. Nickname for this plant is soda bottle. This is part one and in part two I'll be sharing a mnemonic or memory technique to help you commit to memory the most distinguishing characteristics of this plant for identifying purposes. Be sure to watch all of part one so that part two is understandable. This is a weedy plant, grows from one to two feet tall at maturity, has bottle brush shaped stem tops, it occasionally forms in colonies. Notice the erect stems that grow from a rosette or basal rosette of leaves, basal meaning close to the ground, rosette, circular, round formation. Now this basal rosette of leaves wither and die as the plant reaches maturity, which is the case here in this picture. The basal rosette of leaves are gone. The basal rosette of leaves, however, are up to about six inches in diameter. They're more uh, oblance or obovate in shape. Um, and they also have long stems. Now, the basal rosette of leaves is just one of the three types of leaves which are associated with this plant. The other two are found on the flowering stem. We'll get to those later. The petals are four in number. They are in the shape of a cross, which is one of three characteristics which are shared by all plants in this uh, family. This soda bottle plant is a member of the mustard family. All mustards have four petals in the shape of a cross. The petals will be white or yellow. The second characteristic that all mustards share is that the leaves when they are broken or bruised will emit a mustard odor. And third, the seed pods or a seed, um, yeah, the seed pods of the flowers will ascend the stem in a spiral staircase fashion. I'll be showing you that in closer detail in the later slide. Now, I mentioned those three characteristics in all mustards because all mustards are edible. There are none that are poisonous or toxic. It's good information to know for survival, uh, for survival skills purposes. How to identify a mustard and what to look for if you come across a mustard plant. Okay, moving on. Here we have uh, the flowering stem. It's the particular plant of the three bottle brush like plants that we have in this course. This is the one which has um, ribbed stems, so longitudinal ribs here. In the background, we see the coin-shaped seed pods. They are flat. We see more of these in later slides. Notice the stems of these seed pods can be up to about a half inch long, as well as the flowers. Same. Uh, now the flowers are replaced by the seeds, and these stems could be up to a half inch long. 
and they ascend, as I said earlier, ascend the flowering stem in a spiral staircase fashion. These seed pod stems are not opposite of one another. They do not necessarily alternate. Again, they ascend in a spiral staircase fashion. Now, these bottle brush forms can be up to eight inches long and as short as three inches long. The blooming starts at the top and will work its way down. There are two cells inside of each seed pod. Each seed pod has membranous wings around the outside edges, has a hollow notch here at the top. Can hold up to 16 individual seeds. This illustration here on the right uh, represents one of the tiny seeds which are held inside of these pods. Be showing you a better picture of these seeds later. There's a tap root with fibrous adjacent roots. Now this illustration shows us the other leaf types for this plant all of which will eventually fall away as the plant matures, particularly the bottom leaves. Now, toward the bottom of the leaf will be um, oval leaves. These oval leaves have either a short leaf stem or no leaf stem at all. If it has no leaf stem at all, it will just attach directly to the main stem. Now the mid to upper leaves will be more lance shaped. They have blunt teeth and two pointed lobes at the base of each leaf. And this entire leaf, will, what is referred to in botany, is clasp the stem. There are no leaf stems. They can also be slightly wavy around the edges. Another less um, noticeable or less um, distinguishable, much harder to see in the field, let's put it that way, is the fact that this plant, as well as all mustard plants, have six stamen. These are stamen in here which are inside the flower. Of the six stamen, four will be tall and two will be short. This is a colony of plants has a tendency to grow in colonies as I mentioned earlier. Four petals in the shape of a cross. Bruise any one of these leaves and it will emit a mustard garlicky type smell. There are four stain or four um, sepals. These are sepals. They're green. The leaves as well as the stems are hairless.
Notice a spiral staircase ascension of the seed pods. The ribbed flowering stem. These are the seeds. They are oval. They're about two millimeters long. They have curved ridges. The surface is wrinkled with these ridges. And notice how they resemble a fingerprint pattern. They're dark brown. And again, each seed pod can hold approximately 16 of them. A mid to upper leaf, lance shaped, not oval, as the bottom leaves will be, grasping or clasping the stem here, somewhat wavy around the edges, as you notice all throughout here, blunt teeth, ribbed main stem can be up to one inch across, four inches long. Taproot. Fibrous taproot. Bottom leaves, oval. short leaves or I should say short leaf stems or no leaf stem at all. Two pointed lobes at the base of the mid to upper leaves. Bottle brush stem tops. Very distinguishing characteristic of this plant, the bottle brush. The leaves and the seeds of this plant are edible. To learn how to prepare these parts, visit survivalplantsmemorycourse.com. Click on the Laspi Arvents. Common name for this plant is Field Pennygrass. Nickname, Soda Bottle. And on the plant's fact sheet, you'll find uh, an area there or a section titled methods of preparation you'll find the methods of preparation there and so much more of the, on this plant thank you for watching part one be sure to watch part two where I will share the mnemonic or memory technique to help you commit to memory the most distinguishing characteristic of this plant for identifying purposes